Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hello and welcome. Um, I'm out in the Kent countryside, just outside Seven Oaks, well, still in Seven Oaks in a way, and I brought you to a historic house, a place I've been wanting to come to for many, many years, just never got round to it. I thought I'd exploit my National Trust membership and bring you to Knoll Park and the fantastic Knoll House. Yeah, I know I've gone about old doors, but this is magnificent. Look at that. <laughs> Amazing. How old is that, I wonder? You've got a lot of these historic houses around this area. You've got Item Moat, Old Saw Manor, Knoll, of course, Chartwell. Yeah. Amazing. Looking forward to getting inside. We can't go inside till 11 o'clock when the house is open, so we'll, we'll wait till then. So this house has been here for about 500 years and it's been in the Sackville family for all that time and, and also managed by the Man National Trust. Can't wait to get inside and look at some of the paintings actually. There was actually an earlier medieval manor on the site beforehand. Uh, but this is the one constructed in sort of 1475, around that time. So yeah. It's March the 23rd. And it's gonna be 21 degrees today. Really warm, lovely. Hope we might catch some deers. We can't disturb them though. This is a deer park as well. It's been a deer park since uh, I think about the 1600s. Someone gonna correct me if I'm wrong there. But they don't want you to approach them because uh, they're still wild animals, which is understandable and you probably won't. quick look in the conservation studio where they restore and repair works of art, various items. But the house is almost open so we're going to go around and have a look. And also, hopefully I can find the location of something to do with a very, 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 very popular band. That's later though. I don't know how much I can actually uh, talk when I'm in there because a lot of people here is a very popular place. So, uh, but visually it should be stunning with some portraits, stone court. See how it goes on. You walk into these magnificent paintings. Look at these paintings, absolutely fantastic. It's like when you walk into the main hall in uh, Hampton Court and it's like. Wellington? interested in Richard Sackville who bought this place in 1605 he's got a lot of uh, connections to the southeast with the, let's say the prominent Sackville family yeah the great staircase wow so we can have a look I asked the National Trust people saying is that okay to film and vlog I said yeah absolutely fine just no flashes understandable I'll use a flash anyway Brown Gallery, one of the oldest surviving showrooms at Knoll, constructed when Knoll was an Archbishop's uh, Palace between 1456 and 1538, just after the dissolution of the monasteries. Some of these paintings are amazing, absolutely amazing. The graphic novels of their time. The skill of a painter is always impressed me. I can't paint for toffee. I do a little bit of art, but no, nothing great. Wow. Amazing. Lots of school kids here. Delayed us getting in. Brilliant. What a great um, 
day out to come here. I can't believe I've never been here before. I really need to spank that National Trust membership a little bit more this year. Now everything's open again. A lot of the rooms are really dark because they're preserving um, some of the beds, some of the furniture. What a magnificent room. A bit too grandeur for me, but uh, I like small, but yeah. So that's what they were used for. These long galleries are ones at Hampton Court and around and here. They were used like for exercise really, just so we can walk up and down. Amazing. Incredible paintings, look. This room was created by Thomas Sackville in the early 1600s. We are so lucky in this country for our history. Okay, coming to an end of this little tour, in the house that is, please use handrail. This is a lead staircase. Try not to fool us over to it. Thank you, you have become part of a 400 year history of visiting Knoll. You're very welcome. Oh, this is very steep, it's on a couple of levels and we get good views from the top, so let's have a quick look on this first one. Okay, we're climbing upwards, let's go. So here we are out on the top of the tower. The glorious view down to Seven Oaks in deepest Kent. Wow, amazing. And the vast deer park here at Knoll. Help me it work. So there you go, a lovely walk around the house at Knoll. And I'm just going to take you around the back on one of these walking trails. I want to show you something. Something to do with the Beatles. I was just talking to a nice lady in the National Trust shop about the deer here. I mean, they're wild animals and they do really encourage us all over the website not to approach them. And people have since they came out and after lockdown, the deer hadn't seen really seen lots of people for two years. So they're feeding them all crap when they had their picnics, which is not good for their digestive system. So, yeah, people are daft, aren't they? They're wild animals. They might look majestic and cute, but they can be very aggressive, as she's saying, especially through sort of rutting season and uh, calving, just like cows. So, this arch, part of the old manor, what's that got to do with the Beatles? Well, 
back in 1967, January 1967, they filmed parts of the Penny Lane uh, music promo here. And this is the archway where they came through on horses, the Fab Four on horses in the video. I'll link in some images there quickly. Oh, well, I can't, can't play this song, obviously, I'll get a YouTube strike, especially being the Beatles. Um, so yeah, that's uh, the arch that uh, McCartney and co and Lennon all came through on the video. They also filmed quite a lot of Strawberry Fields Forever around the same time in Knoll Park as well. So yeah, it's got a huge Beatles connection if you're a, a Beatles fan. Yeah. So there you go, a little stroll around Knoll House and a bit of the park, Beatles connection on a gloriously hot day. It's not even April yet. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. I'm umming now, I think, I think, possibly, I might go down to Brosted and have a pub lunch. Yeah, maybe a quick look around Brosted. Yeah, let's go. Well, there you go, a lovely lunch, pub lunch in the White Hart at Braystead. Hope you enjoyed the video from uh, Noel House. Please like, subscribe, all that usual stuff. And on this gloriously warm day, we'll see you next time. Take care.